Our neighbors was about a quarter of a mile away on top of the hill. We lived about halfway down the hill. We went to the foot of the hill and then up the next hill to get to church. Uh, I can remember carrying in stove wood. Of course, I was so small I couldn't carry but a couple of sticks at a time, and I thought our wood box was the biggest thing in the world. I can remember carrying in water in a lard bucket and Mother pouring it in the water bucket because I couldn't carry the water bucket. <laughs> Uh, gathering eggs, just doing the chores around the house. They was so living on the farm. There's always something to do. Well, I remember one time we were we had chores to do around the house too, and my brother Brian Covington, uh, his job was to feed and water the horses and stuff. He got up that morning. He says, "I'm not doing that today. You can do it. I'm gonna go pick the eggs." <laughs> He's gonna pick <laughs> eggs pick instead eggs, of gather yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we had we had a lot of good times. Digging out of basement. My daddy went, I was up uh, nearly 10 years old, I guess, before we ever got indoor plumbing. I remember going outside and you had to cross the creek and up on a hill <laughs> to, to go to the restroom. That was, and we didn't have. We had electricity. We had that one single bulb, but wire hanging down. When, you know, and that was in the late '60s. Yes. Yes. So it, it, we didn't we didn't really yeah. get into the plumbing and all that run. until up in the '70s. Yeah. yeah. The electric lines didn't run everywhere. In fact, where was where we were. Hey, well, would you win? I don't got living. Uh. When I got electricity, sir, I was about, uh, it is about 1956, 57. It's about 1946, and I helped wire the house. All right. And we didn't have the cord hanging down in the middle of the room. We had three-way switches. Oh, oh cool. Lady, lady. My, yeah. No, my grandfather did yeah. When we had to wire the house, Mother wanted it wired to where he wouldn't have to backtrack in a room to turn the light out. Uh -huh. You'd go through one door and turn it on and then go, when you started in the next room, you could yeah. go through that door and turn and turn it off there and turn the other do, other room on. You remember we had old iron, iron bedstead mm -hmm. and remember the string that hung down yes. to the light in the <laughs> ceiling and you tied the string to the uh, headboard uh -huh. and, and what you, you just reached up like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can remember the spool hanging on people's on the string, yeah. and yeah. after dark you go through and give it this and hit that string <laughs> and you wrap it around your wrap that spool around your arm. And turn it on. <laughs> turn it on. That's smart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mark Twain knew that there was never yet an uninteresting life. Such a thing's an impossibility. Inside the dullest exterior, there is a drama, a comedy, and a tragedy. Come share and preserve the stories of your life with us here at the Maples Family History Center. We're on the third floor of the King Family Library in downtown Sevierville.